It was very hard for me. I cry almost every day. So I told Agung, if I cannot take it anymore, I will just leave and <laughs> leave him. So it was in 2008 uh, that I was introduced to FCC Mission Pastor and he asked me to pray about going for mission. I remember I uh, prayed to God, saying to God that I wanted to go wherever he asked me to go and I would obey. That time I was still working in an NGO. Then as the organization did not extend my contract, I know in my heart that uh, God wanted me to do this. Before I come to Timor, uh, I saw some of his picture already, so I know that I, I cannot expect a lot. But you're also a bit scared, uh, you don't know where you're going to. So I told God that I want to give it a try. So I come here with him uh, in August 2009 as a newlywed. If I uh, look back at that time, I think it was uh, just too much for her to take mm. because, you know, no electricity, no water, uh, no groceries, no gas, we couldn't cook. It was very hard for me. I cry almost every day and I put my suitcase uh, near the door. So I told Agung, if I cannot take it anymore, I will just leave and <laughs> leave him. In the early years, I had to visit one house to another house to gain their trust. And that's how God bring one by one to come to share their struggle. So that time was the milestones for us to plan a cell group of four families. For me, this is very memorable because this is the first cell group that uh, we have ever planted. And in the community itself, it's a very unusual for people to gather together to pray, read Bible. But as the word has spread, uh, we face persecution. I remember one day on Thursday, I was looking for the members to have cell, but I couldn't find any of them. I saw only their children, and the children said, oh, uh, they are in the, in the bush hiding because they are afraid of getting associated with, with me anymore. I remember that I, I complained, you know, why is this happening? Am I in the right track? Yeah, after the cell group was, uh, was gone, the Lord led me to another group of people. So it was Martina. I remember one day I visited her, she was discharging blood. So I asked the husband to lay hand on her and we pray for her healing. Not only for her healing, God really blessed them with a child. And that was a tremendous testimony for Martina. So after that, God grew his congregation to I think about 60 to 70 old people. In my old perspective, I would say uh, we lost things already, but I also gained more. It's a long process how God nurtured me, how He's showing me that, you know, I can be uh, even more like Him. <laughs> Some people uh, see us as a superhuman, but we are not. We are just simple people like everyone else who just simply do things of God in obedience. Uh, the struggles, the difficulties are are still here and there are times when we felt lonely but we are so thankful of uh, those people who the Lord have uh, brought to Timor, those people who continually pray for us and uh, my hope is that despite all the struggles we are facing that more the local people Timor would receive salvation, receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior.